PSMA, or prostate-specific membrane antigen, is a protein expressed on the surface of prostate cancer cells. We use radioactive small molecules that act as a homing device to seek out prostate cancer cells. These are injected in tiny amounts into the body. This has no adverse effects. The compound travels around the bloodstream and is taken up into prostate cancer cells. A special scanner called a PET scanner then produces whole body, three-dimensional images. We performed the first PSMA PET here at Peter Mac in 2014, and it was immediately evident to us that this was a game-changing technology. This technology is not just for imaging, but can also be used for treatment. We changed the type of radioactivity from one with relatively low energy, used for scans that passes out of the body, to a therapeutic type called lutetium-177. The lutetium-177 travels only one millimetre and deposits high energy radiation to kill cancer cells. In 2015, we treated our first patient with lutetium PSMA as part of a world first clinical trial here at Peter Mac. The results were published in 2018 and demonstrated some unprecedented responses in men who had failed standard therapies. In this image, we can see the PET scans before and after treatment in eight men who participated in this trial with widespread prostate cancer spread. Prostic, the Prostic Cancer Theranostics and Imaging Centre of Excellence has been established to accelerate research in this new type of technology, and we hope we can improve outcomes for men with prostate cancer. In order to further advance this field and have a global impact, this centre has three aims. Firstly, accelerating research in precision diagnosis and treatment using PSMA imaging and Theranostics. To date, this therapy has been used as a last line of treatment in men who have failed all available options. Our research focus is to move this earlier in the treatment paradigm. A second aim is education. Prostic will serve as a global reference centre to educate doctors, scientists, patients and community about the application and benefits of this exciting new technology. And finally, discovery research, which will span multiple domains from basic laboratory research, developing next generation radiopharmaceuticals, better image analysis, and seamlessly translating this to the clinic to benefit our patients with prostate cancer. Prostic will help us establish a portfolio of approximately 10 practice-changing clinical trials. We are currently running a clinical trial called LUPAP, which is funded through the Prostate Cancer Foundation. This study is looking at the novel combination of lutetium PSMA and a PARP inhibitor, which targets DNA repair. So a key advantage of theranostic treatments is because we use the same molecule to target the tumour and and therefore see where it is with our imaging studies, we know that the therapeutic agent is going to go where we want it. And we know how much of the therapeutic agent is likely to get there by looking at the intensity of the uptake on the imaging studies. In this way, we can personalise treatment and deliver it only to those patients who are most likely to benefit. This technology is transforming the way we manage men with prostate cancer. By having more accurate information about the location and extent of cancer, as we do with PET imaging, we can better tailor treatments to improve patient outcomes. We led a phase three study, the pro-PSMA study, which we recently published in The Lancet, which demonstrated that PSMA PET-CT was greatly superior to conventional imaging for detecting cancer location. And we also showed that there was less radiation, less time involved, and less uncertainty about the findings that we're seeing on scans. So clearly, Pro-PSMA has demonstrated PSMA PET-CT is by far the best way to stage newly diagnosed men with prostate cancer. Unlike the conventional pharmaceuticals that you would buy from the pharmacy, radiopharmaceuticals are produced in-house using automated procedures that take place in our labs every day to produce diagnostics and therapeutics for imaging and therapy of different cancers. My research focuses on the development of efficient radiopharmaceuticals for the clinic. The integration of fundamental preclinical research into the Centre of Excellence is one of our key priorities. In fact, the concept of bench to bedside and back again research to improve patient outcomes is ingrained in the strategy and direction of the centre. We take the patient's tumours from the clinic and engraft them into mice known as avatars. The avatars are then used to design and improve drugs and therapies. 
As part of our research, we can also take blood from men being treated and use it to analyse fragments of tumour DNA. This enables us to perform genetic analysis of the tumour without performing painful biopsies. We hope this will become a standard of care to help better personalise therapies and assist with monitoring treatments. I'm a surgeon and my PhD will take me back to the lab to look at tissue specimens from men who have undergone treatment with Letitian PSMA. We'll be doing some advanced analysis to look at the changes in the tumour microenvironment and we're very excited at the potential discoveries. I'm a nuclear medicine specialist doing a PhD developing new clinical trials in PSMA diagnostics and using artificial intelligence to help us better analyse the large volume of data generated from our studies. With the growing use of PSMA PET in the community, these scans and treatments are continuing to change the way we care for and treat our complex prostate cancer patients. Specialist nurses are a core part of the GU Oncology team at Peter Mac. We have a multidisciplinary team meeting each week. This brings us together with doctors and other health professionals and research staff to discuss patient needs and identify for the best treatment for individual patients. My treatment was, looks like very successful and I feel grass now. Apparently my cancer is gone 99% away, melted away and I feel 100% better. This hospital has been really God given to me because, uh, you know, I had a death sentence hanging on me. Now I'm almost cured, you know. So I'm very grateful for, for treatment.